Greetings! Today we're going to take this ordinary storage closet and turn it into a secret hidden room by turning the door into a bookshelf. The first thing I did was go down to the hardware store and buy myself a large sheet of half-inch plywood and I cut it to fit just beyond the door frame so it will cover all of it. I also bought uh, several of these little L bracket things to connect the back of the bookshelf to the door. In the center of the door is where I want to mount the brackets. Cool. bracket right down here by the bottom of the door. The reason for this is the bookshelf is going to be dragging along the carpet, but this is to keep it from separating from the door because all of the pressure is going to be in this area. So there, that'll help when we pull it and push it. The last two brackets I'm going to attach to the back of the bookcase before I attach it to the door. And that's because these two brackets are going to go in the crack here where the hinges are, and so they need to be facing inward instead of outward. If they're facing outward, then the door won't be able to open anymore. Boy, that's really on there. I'm just going to test drive this. So this is looking good. Right now I'm just attaching the back of the bookshelf to the door temporarily. It glides beautifully about this far above the carpet. I can see that I've got about, I don't know, an inch between this and the wall. And I want the sideboards to kind of cover this a little bit so that you can't see back behind here and realize there's a door frame behind this. So here's the main problem that I knew I would run into quite literally from the beginning. And that is that when you open the door, you run into the wall right here. And that doesn't leave much clearance to get things or myself in and out. So what I'm going to do is modify the design in such a way that I'm cutting the corners off of these. So basically the side of the shelf will be here and then the shelf itself will come out uh, from the edge, and I'll do it on both sides so it looks uniform. And that will buy me probably another inch on this side, but an inch over there will translate to, mm, I don't know, maybe three or four inches on this side. Since this edge is the edge that kind of sticks out in the room, I want this edge to be cleaner, so I'm lining up this with this. And then if this side's a little bit off, it's not a big deal. got the hinges attached to this so this will stand right here and then this piece will hinge closed so when the door is closed all the way and somebody peeks around this side of the bookshelf all they will see is the shelf going straight to the wall before you open the door you push this and it spirals around then when you pull open the door that whole side goes into the corner. Now, I'm going to put these, which are the shelf uh, supports, onto the other side with some wood glue. Ultimately, I might reinforce this with screws, but for the moment, my screw budget, my <laughs> screw budget is uh, wearing a little thin. bottom shelf in. This is what's going to keep the door from ripping off of its hinges. Just by cramming that under there, I've taken quite a bit of the weight of the bookshelf off of the door. 
Now ultimately this is going to be covered because this is a huge tell that, oh, there's a door behind here. Let's see if it opens properly. We have to slide this piece out of the way so it doesn't run into the wall right there. Now we should be able to slide it open. Oh, look how far open that goes. I love it. We've gone further than I projected we would. This is where I thought the door would open. So we've got like a, maybe another inch and a half further. That's awesome. All right. We are going to conceal the lock with a shelf support that is not actually supporting the shelf. The mechanism I've come up with, it's, it's not sophisticated, but the way it'll work is this will be held up by one screw on this side and it'll swivel down like this to reveal the lock. So in order for that to work, I had to sand down the end of this so that there's a slight angle this way. It needs to be able to swivel down like this and not run into the shelf on this end. So let's put it together and see if it works. So that's it, nice and snug. Uh, you'll notice I still have two more screws in here. And the reason this one is here, this is actually a shorter screw and it goes just a little ways into uh, the back of the shelf. But there's a section back there that's carved out so that this can still swivel down, but only to a point. It stops right there. The shelf goes right in there like that. There is shelf number four. Now the last step, other than painting, of course, is going to be to find something to cover this with. And I'm thinking either a long skinny piece of plywood or something, and then I'll probably mirror it on this side too. Simple wood glue will hopefully be enough to hold this in place. I don't have any clamps that will hold this thing on here at this angle. So I gotta stand here for 20 minutes. finished. Slides easily enough. Even filled it up with some stuff like books. And if we want to secure everything we can simply close that flap and then lock the door and finally grab a screwdriver and screw the last screw in on the end. And there you have it. That's how you turn any room in your house into a secret room. Actually finish the rest of the bedroom too. Even made the bed. That was the hardest part. <laughs>